You're watching Champ Week, presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. And we are in New Orleans, Louisiana, where the final mid-major automatic bid will be handed out on Selection Sunday. And it's the top teams in the Sun Belt Conference going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Lost it. Isom found it. Marik Isom, the first triple of the game. Isom leaks out on the other end. Left-handed layup, first two for Marcus Johnson. Two road games. 7-2 run for the Trojans has them up by six. And another chance at a three-point play for the Warhawks. This will be their third trip to the line with an and one. For again, back-to-back -back turnovers for the Trojans. Here's Robertson at the other end. Man, is he strong. Dang, with a hand in his face, yes. One of the most improved players in the conference, if not the country, Majuk Dang. With offense with ball screen as well. It's a hybrid. Tough three-pointer by Marcus Johnson, and he has set. Instead, it's Samuel from the baseline. Yes, another three-pointer. And the second seed, UL Monroe. Warhawks have the lead. Going to try it again. Why not? Too strong. Samuel, the offensive rebound and the putback. Back-to-back buckets by Samuel and the Warhawks back on top tournament. They would be a 12 seed and potentially could face Indiana in the second round. An entertaining and hard-fought close first half in the Sun Belt Conference Championship Final. Our score at the break, Monroe leads it 33 to 28 over the top seed Little Rock Trojans. And inside put Dang on the perimeter. It's been fun to watch this team invert their offense. Woods goes right at Dang and gets the first two of the second half. Woods leaves it, and Green finishes. Roger Woods has been the biggest difference here to open up the second half. He Higgins uses the pick by Shoshi. Shot fake, Woods to the cup. Roger Woods, the senior, hung around through the coaching change. Quote, he trusted us, says Chris, said Chris Beard. Belt this year. Little Rock, again it's Woods with the steal. And the bucket with the bump. 11 for Woods and a chance to make it 12, and Little Rock has jumped out in this second half all over Monroe. Watch Roger Woods, he wants contact. Watch him slow down, right there, he slows down. He wants contact because he knows he's powerful enough to finish the play. Dang has a size advantage, they don't get it to him. Robertson rises up and knocks that one down. He has 14. Defense has really turned the screws. Hagens leaves it. Jackson again. Little Rock showing you why we're, they're one of the best teams in the country. Only better winning percentage in all the land is the Kansas Jayhawks. Hagens to Jackson. We saw him take a bad shot and make it. That was a good shot and the same result. Oh! That's a big time move. That is a big time move. Memorable close. Marcus Johnson, nice floater in the paint. Well, he is just a leader coming out of the top to make and the pass. There he is. Pick and pop, takes it to the hole, and banks it in. 13. There's a reason why this team has won 28 games with Chris Beard at the helm. Three points for the all Sun Belt member. No sooner do I say that, and he drops in his second bucket of the game. With defenders with so much focus on zero, Roger Woods, Haggins now taking advantage. It's been all Little Rock in the second half. They're 5-14 away from a Sun Belt championship. Third in the nation in scoring defense. Ose from the corner. Tucked as a 12 seed, who do you think they might match up with? Lenardi has a matched up with Cal in the first belt champions, and Little Rock is going to the big dance.
Congratulations to Chris Beard in his first year at the helm of the Little Rock Trojans. They are the most improved team in all of college basketball, and now they get to show their wares in the field of 68. Josh Hagens led this team all year. He didn't have to do much offensively this afternoon. Just five points for Hagens, but Chris Beard got superstar performances from his senior, Roger Woods, who led all scorers with 19 points to go along with nine rebounds. He got 14 points from Marcus Johnson Jr. And the defense for Little Rock really showed up in the second half, allowing just 17 points for the ULM Warhawks. The Little Rock Trojans, 29 and 4, will be representing the Sun Belt in the NCAA tournament. First time to the big dance for Little Rock since 2011. And a team that dominated at home 14 and 0, certainly is not afraid to go on the road. 12 true road wins for these Trojans as well, including wins at San Diego State and at Tulsa. Standing by with the victorious head coach, Chris Beard, here's Mark Adams. Chris Beard, you are a small college head coach that represents all of us. How does it feel today? It feels great. You know, I'm the luckiest man in the world to be coaching these guys, these four seniors. They've taken us on the ride of our, of our lives this year. And, uh, you know, we're not done yet. I think we can do some damage in the tournament. I really believe that. You're the most improved team in America, plus 15 wins over last season, and it's growing every day, now plus 16. How have you turned it around so fast at Little Rock? Good players, no doubt about it. The players deserve all the credit. You know, we told the guys when we got the job, we need you to be better versions of yourself. And in recruiting, we told guys, hey, we need you to come in and help us immediately. And our players deserve all the credit. Our players are the reason we're going to the NCAA tournament. How important was Roger Woods today? Roger played like a senior. You know, uh, Mississippi is now my favorite state because of Roger Woods right behind Arkansas. Um, I'm proud to be Roger Woods' coach. Coach, when you look back, working for Coach Knight and all your high school coaches, look in the camera, tell Coach Knight and all the guys that have influenced your career exactly what this moment means to you and everybody that you've worked with. Well, I do take that responsibility seriously. You know, there's a lot of junior college coaches and Division II coaches out there that deserve a chance, and I'm, I'm proud that uh, we've represented all those guys well. Little Rock is going to the dance, the most improved team in America. Good luck in the NCAA tournament. Thank you, Mark Adams. Congratulations to Chris Beard, first-year head coach, has turned it around in the biggest way possible in Little Rock. They go from just eight wins in conference a year ago to 17 and three in the Sun Belt, and now collect their 29th win overall with a 70 to 50 dominant performance over the Monroe Warhawks in the Sun Belt Championship. 70 to 50 is your final four. Humble and hardworking, 